tuambie labda relationship yako na Lady B ni gani? Uh, let me say I knew Lady B a long time ago, mm. but I can't remember whether it's 2013. Mm. Uh, we were doing um, uh, during election time. Mm. We were doing uh, something called it's like peace peace tour mm-hmm. and it was the first time I met her. Mm-hmm. So I remember we we met I didn't know even she's born again mm-hmm. but when we met uh, we just had a chat and she told me she had gotten born again mm-hmm. that time she had not even started singing. Mm-hmm. So we just bonded and uh, we became friends mm-hmm. and then after a year that's when now she started now releasing mm-hmm. her gospel music. Mm-hmm. So uh, let me say a lady B has been a friend. Mm-hmm. She's the kind of person that I can talk to, I can call, we we talk mm-hmm. on phone and we encourage each other. Mm-hmm. But what I know about Lady B is that the the psych that she has, mm-hmm. the fire that she has. Mm-hmm. I mean she is amazing. I don't know. Every time we call each other, we first start by laughing because we know there's something that we're going to talk about. We just have a bond that I can't really explain. Um uh, how it just came by mm-hmm. but we just have a bond mm-hmm. like we we are we are friends mm-hmm. we are friends and we became friends mm-hmm. apart from just being uh what i can call um uh we are, we are partners or not really partners but like the way we can say uh um lady b is a musician and i'm a musician so it's like colleagues in other words yeah. so but that's how i know her she is a friend to me Yeah. Is, what, what keeps you going because uh, in this uh, journey of music in the music industry you're doing so well and one of the gospel artists wenye tumeangalia ukifanya kazi poa sana your music like zina inspire watu kule nje maybe you can uh, talk to our fans and all of us here you tell us what keeps you going uh, i think what keeps me going mm-hmm. let me say it's god and his grace mm-hmm. uh, let me say that i have a life that is not in public mm-hmm. but it's a life that I desire to work with God. Mm. So let me just say it's it's just an overflow. So what you see is just an overflow of the grace that I walk in and which I thank God for that I I desire to be more working with God all the time. So let me say I have nothing I can say that I can pick and say Alice has been working hard and she's who she is. I can only attribute it fully to God. Being and working with me. Have we ever worked maybe together on any project with Lady B? Uh, we haven't worked with, uh, with Lady B on any project, but at least uh, I can say we've worked together because of uh, some of the Ana Ana Yesu Anaweza um, crusades that she does. I've always gone to support her, so anytime she has them, she always calls me. So basically, like, that's how I can say we've worked together. But not on uh, basis Maybe of collab or, or anything. Yeah. No, we haven't done that yet. Are you, are you planning? Or <laughs> should we expect that? Uh, we don't know because you know collabs just ca- come as a way when you you see there's something or there's a song that you can work together. It it pulls you together. There's, there's a song that will pull y- you together. So as much as we are friends. It, it, You know collabs are not just something you just decide because your friends let's mm-hmm. work together but this a song that this one needs a certain person mm-hmm. and you work together but you never know maybe in future we don't know we might just work together let's wait and see what should you expect from Alice Kamande especially this year uh this year expect what do i tell you just expect any time i'll be releasing something new that is what i'm working on i know last year has been a bit quiet but of course covid and all that happening we went a bit quiet just to rejuvenate ourselves uh but this year at least now things are opening up and uh, we feel like we have more energy to come back and do more and go to the studio so by god's grace we hope that something new is going to come out soon at least you know you are a role model to so many people Yeah, maybe I would also like to know is there anybody that you look up to maybe like a mentor or something a role model? Oh wow. Uh let me say there are some people who I look up to yeah. as a mo- uh, not really as a model but they mentor me in one way or another. Yeah. And these are people who are very close to me because I I just don't look at people from afar and say that is my role model yet we don't have a relationship. But um um Jemima Piongo is a friend to me and she mentors me like a mother 
and that's one thing that I love about her is because she calls me even sometimes just to find out how are you doing. She prays for me and to me it's an honor and also a privilege just to have someone who walks with you. She is she is of an older age but she, she measures me like a mother and even in me, ministry wise because she understands ministry. My mother may not really understand about ministry because she's not in one. But uh, just having her around, even walking with her, she's got a lot of wisdom. So I always say, for me, she's one person who actually mentors. Let me just say mentorship is what I look for. Has someone ever trolled you on social media, maybe, or uh, so many people, okay, oh, this is hap- it's happened, yeah. so many people that are being trolled, and if it has ever happened to you, what did you do to overcome those challenges as a musician? Oh, wow. Have I ever been trolled? I don't know if I've ever been read comments. I read comments, but I think I always see most of the comments are amen, amen, amen. But now you're lucky. If you've ever been I, I Let me just say one thing about being trolled. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you really put, you really concentrate on uh, negativity, how, negativity le- yes, then you will find that negativity. Mm-hmm. But if you concentrate on what you're doing, like my motto is live on purpose. If I'm on purpose and you don't like what I'm doing, uh, it will not affect me. And uh, number two is having a relationship with God is who am I going to please first? Is it my fans? If people who listen to my music or is it to please God first? So if you do that, then you'll never have a problem. Even if people troll you, uh, one thing is you need to rejuvenate. That's why sometimes you even go quiet. Because if you don't rejuvenate yourself, you're more likely to stumble. Because we, we, we are not perfect. We make mistakes. But even sometimes we make mistakes maybe probably behind the scenes and people don't get to know. But if you make a mistake in front of people, that's when you find now people are trolling you. Not knowing that you're also a human being, we are bound to make mistakes and all that. But most importantly is not to focus on that. It's even if you make any mistake, whether it's your mistake or people just want to troll you. Like you see, sometimes people just decide they don't like you and for no good reason. It's okay. I mean, concentrate on the ones who are impacted by your ministry or whatever you do. Yes. Thank you so much for your time. We Thank appreciate it. We wish you all the best. Thank you so much. God bless you.